Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make the Kraken Club. So if you've ever played Final Fantasy XI, you probably have some idea of what the Kraken Club's going to do. It's a low attack power club that occasionally attacks two to eight times. So, I'm going to illustrate the club for you quickly, and then we're going to uh, go into the database and I'll show you how to make it. I'm using an action sequence uh, right underneath a custom execution of a skill. I'm using a plugin from Yanfly, the Weapon Unleash plugin. You'll need the skill core, you'll need the core engine, and you'll need the Weapon Unleash plugin. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get all of the plugins you need for this to work correctly. So you can see how many times she's swinging and it's randomly from 1 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's just random. We're actually using math.random to determine a variable. And then we're setting it to a game variable. And then in the action sequence, we're checking, um, we're making a conditional statement. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make a weapon. So make a weapon, call it the Kraken Club, or whatever you really want to call it. Uh, in the description, let the player know that it's an occasionally attack two to eight times. Give it whatever attack power you want. I mean, give it whatever type you want. It doesn't even have to be a mace or a club or anything. But this is basically a theme from Final Fantasy XI's Kraken Club. So I've made it a mace, gave it a, a mace animation, made it cost a million, gave it 50 attack power. We're going to do this note tag. You'll have to do this, though. In, bra in brackets, you'll type weapon unleash 100%. You can also do a weapon uh, skill replace, attack replace on the actors if you want to do that, but then it'll say Kraken Club instead of attack. And then we're going to put a space, and then we're going to type in Kraken Club. And we're going to create a skill called whatever we type right, right in here. So go to our skills after you've done that. Type in Kra Kraken Club or any whatever you type in your, uh, for your weapon uh, unleash. Whatever you type here, you can name your skill that. It doesn't have to be Kraken Club. Um, description, occasionally attacks two to eight times, make it whatever skill type you want. We're using it as a weapon and leash, so it won't really matter. Scope will be one enemy, occasion will be battle screen. You don't want to give it any cost because it's going to be replacing attack. Um, you also don't want to give it too much of, of a, too high of a damage because it's going to get a lot of attacks. So A.ATK times four would be sufficient. Variance is up to you, critical is up to you, element, normal attack, or physical. Um, you want to make it the hit type of physical attack. Give it whatever animation you like. Um, now the magic is in the note tag, so we're going to do a custom execution. We're going to create a, a temporary variable, variable i equals, open parentheses, capital M on math dot random, in parentheses we're going to put i, and then we're going to type an asterisk for multi multiplied by 9. And then we're going to close that off with the parentheses and an end line. Then we're going to go dollar sign game capital V on variables dot set value, parentheses 36, uh, comma I well, okay one more thing you'll have to declare a variable so let's do that real quick so you know for you it might not be 36 but let's open up a new event go to control variables open up these three dots find a free slot and call it Kraken Club or whatever you want the skill to be named but take note of the number for me it's 36 once you've done that hit OK hit OK hit OK and just delete that event all we were doing was finding a free slot for our variable <clears throat> so let's go back to our database in our database where we're setting the valuable of a variable we're going to put that number right there for me it's 36 we're going to put a comma and then we're going to type i close the parentheses and do an end line uh, that's it for our custom execution so we're going to do a forward slash on our custom execution now we're going to start uh, our basic attack so if you're using um, uh, yanfly's uh, basic uh, attack motion that lets you go across the screen to attack you can basically copy paste that if not i'm going to go through it really quick for you So, we're going to open up our setup action. We're going to type in display action. We're going to go immortal, uh, colon, targets, comma, true. Close the setup action. Then we're going to open up our target action. If user.attack, capital M on motion, open and close parentheses, is not. So we're going to do exclamation mark and then two equal signs. And in single quotes, we're going to type missile. Then we're going to uh, press enter. And you don't have to indent this, but it looks better if you do. Move space user, colon, targets comma front comma 20 frames you just type 20 else 
perform start and the conditional statement. Then we're going to zoom the camera, one, uh, 120%, comma, 20 frames. Camera screen, colon, target, comma, front center, comma, 20. Camera focus, target, comma, front center, 20. Wait for mo uh, movement. Motion attack, colon, user. Wait, colon, 10 frames. Attack animation, target. Wait for animation. Action effect. Death break. Wait, colon, 10. Now, that's all basic. Uh, everything except for this. That everything above here is all basic on your attack. That's probably you've probably seen before. But right here is where it starts. So we've added a death break and a wait 10 underneath that last action effect. And now we're doing conditional statements with the action sequences. So you're also going to need uh, Yanfly's battle core, battle engine core. You're going to need the action sequence packs one, two, and three since we're doing cameras too. We're going to type if space dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value, and then that number we put in the top here. For the set value, you're going to use that number. For me, it's 36. Close the parentheses. Space, greater than equal to 2. We're going to motion attack, colon user. Attack animation, wait for animation. Action effect, death break, and wait, colon 10 frames. And then we're going to end that. Then we're going to copy that whole thing from here to here. Like that. Copy that. Paste it underneath. And now you're going to change the 2 to a 3. Go to the end, paste it again, change the 3 to a 4. Paste it again, change it to a 5. Paste it again for 6. Paste it again for 7. And paste it one more time for 8. That's going to give you one guaranteed attack and then 7 additional attacks depending on how high that uh, math.random roll was. So how math.random works is it rolls a number from 0 to 1. And then you multiply that number by this number so if it rolls a 1, that number is going to be 9, and it's going to work. If it rolls um, a point .9, then it'll still get 8 attacks. But if it rolls under point, uh, point .9, basically it's going to start losing attacks. And obviously if it rolls like a point .5, then you're going to have uh, 4 swings or 5 swings. But it works this way. Uh, alternatively, you can change this 9 to an 8, but you will most likely never, ever get 8 swings if you do it like this because it would have to roll a perfect 1.00 uh, out of that math.random for this to trigger eight, the 8th eight swing. So if you want to have it less chance of 8 swings but still possible, you could do 8.5 and just change this number any, anywhere from 8 to 9 because, I mean, it's possible if you do it times 8 to get the 8th swing, but most likely you're never going to see it. So 9 works if you actually want to see the 8th swing take effect. But that's going to do it for this uh, tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Um, uh, if you have any comments or you'd like to make a special request, please put the comments below. Let me know and I'll read them as soon as I can and get to them as soon as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, we will see you guys in the next tutorial.